So it's this camera working now. That's interesting that this camera's working now, just because it's not plugged in. Ha, 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 I got you this time, camera. See, I told you this computer's playing tricks with me. Alright, this is going to be a model video. It's one of these stupid webcam crap, because that's all I can do. I'm going to jump straight into it, right? Having a really hard time modelling. I'm having a hard time living my life. Just existing is hard in my head. But I'm trying to keep on track and on top of everything that there is. I, I need to. Oh, it, it, long story. The, the, the Stuga. It's still going. <coughs> um with just a few of the inside the interior is just there um but this I mean, we're up to this stage i mean we're further than this it's just i can't assemble it um this is the this is the issue now is getting this all it's a lot to do with the engine and the alignment i mean it is working but then we have a problem when it comes round to here there are some issues with alignment on this all of this here I'm trying to go the other way here there we go no go that way oh it's so opposite to do it's got a lot to do with this piece and it, it goes on there and it makes everything which would be the propeller it makes it all sit on there nicely comfortably um, which it, it won't because every moment I put it on at the moment it looks like it's sitting at a silly angle so as you can see that is one of those things that I'm battling with and then I've got to make everything fit smoothly around all of this this piece here which that's another thing this I wouldn't say this kit has fit issues but I think if you don't get everything exactly right, you're going to have issues later. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to criticise the kit. I'm just loving it, but I'm hating it at the same time. But no, I'm not hating it. Wrong word. It's it's just, it's a challenge that I expected. And I wanted, I've, you know, I've got what I wanted. And obviously the interior. I don't know. It, I do bits, and you know, I just wondered to myself, can it even be seen? Oh, and see, I'm having to work in opposite. See, this is so annoying. It's the lack of my camera is doing that. Anyway, I'm still going to do all these little bits in between. I mean, this was my. I'm, I'm really still very happy with that, and uh, still things to do to it. But then I was out with Richie Gyrus, Gyrus, Gyrus. Go see Gyrus's channel. Lovely guy. Go and see him. Good modeler too. But um, yeah, he, he he bought a kit and he just passed the kit to me, and it happened to be something I'd chosen beforehand. <laughs> no. I, and this is it. Biplanes. I've, I've gone slightly backwards a bit in between building. I'm just frustration from the big stuff. So now I'm building little bits and pieces that I feel like just I'm trying to get myself back into the habit of modelling, which I'm finding very hard because I'm having problems thinking. So I'm using modelling to sort of try and work it all out. So anyway, we get to this one set and. When I bought it, I see I have scale issues. You see, <laughs> one one seventy second, one thirty five, all that. I don't really look at the scale of the kit. I look at the box art, and I suppose I go back to the original kit, the kid we all were, and I go, "Ooh, that's so cool." So maybe I'm drawn into the box art. 
But anyway, then I get home and I realise what scale it, it, it's in. And like, I got, I got this and I absolutely loved it. I was surprised how small it was. But, uh, yeah, it was just so, so beautiful. It's moulded, it's moulded so well. If I've already mentioned this in a video previously, then I'm sorry. But the, the quality of the mould on the body is second to none. It is so nice. Every every bit of this feels like it's just going to go together so sweet. No flash, no nothing. Clean. It's, it's almost, it feels as if it's going to be snap tight. And needless to say, everything else is the decals, which I always conveniently drop. These are the kind of decals that never look the, they never look right either way up. Yeah. Numbers like that, and the, and very well, I suppose these are the really modern, up to date. Um, this is how they do it these days. Airfix instructions, which I find, you know. Um, this is this is uh, this is good. This is quite useful. I could I can actually really quite understand it, which is what I can. I might even try it on the smaller one. I've got this the bigger one to do, but I might even try it first on this one because it seems so mapped out. Good way of learning. It's a bit weird, like. But yeah, this different colour matching here. I like it. It's good, and it is very old. It's, it's all very clear. So like. Modelling, as far as modelling goes, from when I was a kid, it stayed pretty much as it should have been. You get it in a bag, put it together yourself, sunshine. But you're given such beautiful stuff to start with now. Which I suppose, I don't know, if, you, if, you, if you've modelled for as many years as I have, you can probably understand I, can, I could pick that apart. You know, you'll never learn how to carve bits out with your own fingers I mean all that comes I suppose but I learnt that way so but I'm an old school twat and proud brushes paint brushes I paint airbrushes love them can't afford them but anyway yeah well this is as closest to modeling you're gonna get so if you don't like it, you know what? If you don't like it, you know what? Their longbows had a range of 200 meters. I stand 210 meters away. Oh, that's it. I'm not making this video anymore. Um, any computer whiz kids or geniuses or YouTube marvels want to come around and try to figure this crap out so I can put up videos I want to put up? Could you get in touch? I pay good money.